That's the wisdom of God. I thought, since God has spoken to me to go to Nigeria, that he will resolve the issue with the court immediately and I will be able to have all the money and all the resources that I have. No, that I know that I have. And that, you know, it will, I will just go on line, TV, I will get on 100 TV stations, 100 radio stations, and I will just fill the whole country with the truth that I know that God has given, to, you know, trusted in my hands. That is the way I would have liked to do it in the natural. But God stretched out the time. And I, mean, I don't have access to any of those things. So you see the wisdom of God. But even though I know that will still come. So that's why I say before I come to Nigeria, everybody will know. Because before I come to Nigeria, everywhere will be flooded with this message. And that is another reason why I think that uh, I'm not, it's too early for me to take the congratulations because only the people who are most hungry right now are able to have access to these messages. But a time is coming when every other person will be able to, they might reject it, they might not want it, but at least they will have access to it. So, but then that is when we will be, have, have the opportunity to broadcast on radio, television, newspaper, everywhere. At least for people to know that there is a choice out there. But how am I able to do this? When I saw that, you know, my plans and God's plans <laughs> are going different direction. I see that God is not working things out the way I want it. Then, and I am the type that preach that your inner wealth and inner riches is greater than the physical riches that you have. People who know me here, they will tell you that I never have money in my pocket. I never carry money in my pocket. I never have money with me. And one of the reasons is because I don't, I'm, I'm training myself not to live by the physical money. I always teach people that wealth is greater than money. And I wrote a book about that. If the money is, I mean, the book is called Money, Riches, Wealth. Until you know the difference until you know the difference, uh, something, until you know the difference, you are, not, you are not free. Yeah. Until you know the difference, you are not free. Money, riches, can you find that book? Money, riches, wealth. Until you know the difference, you are not free. So, uh, so I discovered that I, I am the one who teach that wealth is what matters. Wealth is better than money. Wealth is better than riches. And wealth does not have to be physical. So, I then said, okay, I will still, while I'm still here, while God is still holding me back here, I will still fulfill this calling. And I will begin to prepare the ground. Of course, I prayed. And I believe that it's God that led me to do that. So, and I followed the leading of God in my spirit. And I knew that this is going to happen. You know, let me tell you a story. With Jesus coming to the earth, God was very strategic with his coming. Jesus never came until there was a dominant empire that was controlling 60% of the earth. And God allowed that dominant empire to go and conquer his people. God allowed his people, Israel, to come under the bondage of this empire. Only after God had made sure that the Roman Empire had dominated his people, conquered them, put them under their bondage, under their captivity, and has also dominated 60% of the surface of the earth and of the known world, Jesus, God did not allow Jesus to be born. But even more importantly, God did not allow Jesus to be born, despite the fact that the Roman Empire had been ruling and reigning for years before Jesus was born, God still did not allow Jesus to be born. You know why? God wanted the Roman Empire to attain the apex of his development before Jesus could be born. 
and not just ordinary development, God allowed the Roman Empire to introduce the concept of highways across continent. Across continents. Continental highways was introduced by the Roman Empire. They built infrastructure linking Asia, I mean linking Europe to Asia, to North Africa, to India, to continental Asia. And they connected the world and made the world a global village in their time. When the highways were built and the, and the chariots could go freely, move, then Jesus was born. Such that in the next 20 years after the birth of Jesus, and after the ministry of Jesus, after the death of Jesus, his disciples could use now that those highways to take the gospel to the four corners of the earth. <laughs> the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God. So I also try to see and sense the timing of the time that we are living in. And I discover that the world has also become another global village thanks to the internet. Check my word. Try this out. I am one of the first people to do live broadcast, to preach through live broadcast on Facebook, in the world. As soon as I discover live broadcast, it was started a, a month or so, or a few weeks, six weeks or so, less than two months, I came on. As soon as Facebook started live broadcast, I am one of the first ones to start, to start coming out with live broadcast. Why? Because I could sense it. That this is the hour. I don't need to be traveling anymore the way I used to travel. I don't need to be hopping, hopping from here to there. God is doing something. He's doing the same thing he did during the time of Jesus. Highways being built by, by Mark Zuckerberg. Highways, not for the world, not for commerce, like the, the Roman Empire taught. And not for world dominance by them. But it's for kingdom dominance. And let me tell you another thing that is coming. Very soon, maybe in the next 10 years, there is, going, there is going to be a global web of in, free internet connection, Wi-Fi. Just like there is internet now through Facebook. I mean, this, not, not internet, just like there is websites. I mean, uh, web, you know, what do you call it? Internet, like we could use Facebook as well. Now, but a lot of people are not on Facebook. You know why? No internet. People cannot watch in the villages. But there is going to be a global web, global, of internet presence. Whereby internet will be everywhere. In every village, every town, every, everywhere. Unlimited. And you don't have to pay for it. That is going on as we are talking right now. And they think they are doing it for themselves. But I know they are doing it for the kingdom. The kingdom is going to take advantage of that. And I am getting ready for that as well. That is why I am doing all these teachings that I am doing right now. So that by the time the world is opened for global free, global access, internet access, I will have enough materials to flood the airways with. And I don't have to do live again. But there will be enough materials to be able to change the world. And that's why I'm writing so many books as well. I'm getting ready for the future of the world. To be a voice and a platform for the kingdom of God. So you ask, why, how have you been able to do it? Yesterday, I got two letters from... Three letters from one country in Africa. Zambia. Zambia is, is eastern, southern, east of east, southern Africa. There is somebody in that country right now that has just written a book about me. I've never met him. And the, when I read that book, 
I said, even my wife doesn't know me as this man knows me. Even my wife cannot write a book like that. She knows me more, maybe in some aspects, but that book that that guy wrote, and I've never met him. He did his research. And he has been studying me, following me, more than what I could imagine. And he wrote a whole book, 300 pages. That same country, Zambia, that I've never been to, and they've never been here, there are two people who are also starting churches in different cities. They don't even know one another. Just based on following the SA or this one. I will not talk about South Africa. Talk about Kenya, Uganda. Like you said, Jamaica, Bahamas, Australia, New Zealand, Brazil. Right, in fact, so, you know I stopped doing HMT. But I will have to be, I, I'm going to be forced to do another HMT again in January before I move, before I leave. You know why? Because I, it happens that there are some people in Korea, Seoul, Korea, South Korea, who have been studying my materials silently and I didn't even know about it. They have translated my books and materials to their Korean language and they have been studying my material. So now, they know that I'm moving to Africa. They said they are gathering themselves. They are bringing 50 delegates for their own HMT, just for them, for me to just please do HMT for them in January. And I discovered that I don't even know they exist. I didn't even know they were alive. And they are already doing, in fact, <laughs> some people said they know the DSA so much that some people in my church here might not even know me as much. And they are coming here with their whole big team, a whole plane, taking a whole, shattering a whole plane to come and see the DSA. And I want to use the opportunity to, to talk to everybody else all over the world who might still want to participate in HMT and they have been discouraged that uh, I stopped doing HMT. I think we can give you the opportunity. They are coming, I think, from the 13th or from 15th of January for a whole week for seven days or so. We'll let you know the days. So we want to give you people the opportunity. You can join the, them because even though they are going to be translated to their language, but I, I will be speaking English. So you might still be able to do one HMT. Or maybe you, can, you want to form your own group too. If you want to form your own team from 20 people and upwards, or maybe bring your own members, at least 20 people before I could do any HMT, at least 20 people and upward, then maybe we could do HMT just for you. So this is to answer the, kind, the question you asked that, how come I am here and you are there, we never met, and this effect all over. I hope I am able to connect with the time of Jesus, Roman Empire. I hope I was able to, I'm able to answer your question. Brilliant. Hello everybody, DSA here. I would like us to spread this word together. Let the gospel of the kingdom conquer the world. We only need you to help us take five simple steps. What are these steps? One, go ahead and like the video, please, if you have not yet done that. Number two, we need you to subscribe to this channel. Have you yet subscribed? Not yet done it? Go do it now. Number three, you need to press and click on that bell. You see the bell there? That will give you notification of every video that we do. Then the next thing you need to do, write your comments. Let's know what you think, good or bad. And then of course, you have other platforms like Instagram, like Facebook. Share this video on your other platforms. All right? Let's win the world for Christ. Peace.